In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the best run in a goal line situation in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my YouTube channel, I just want to encourage you to watch the entire video all the way through, and then just leave a comment at the end of the video with your name and how you found the channel. Really look forward to reading those and engaging with you guys in the comment section. Today we're talking all about inside runs, and I think this is one of the, the subjects that I don't do a good enough job talking about, is I talk all about all the time how important it is to execute well inside the 10-yard line, but I don't really give you arsenal, give you some plays. So today we're going to be breaking down one of the plays that I use to do that, and that's the deuce close. I am in the um, Kansas City Chiefs playbook, and the play is halfback wham. My opinion, this is the best um, – this is the best under center inside run. Uh, this is the run that I'm going to run. If I need to get a couple yards, right? If I just need to get, um, how do I do this? Oh, I can't remember how to, okay. If I just want to get five yards, four yards, three yards, like third and three, fourth and two, or I'm on the goal line, this is pretty much the run I'm going to go to. And what it is, is basically you want to put your best line, uh, best blocking guy here, you want to put your best catch in traffic guy here. So I got to do some roster adjustments. But all it is, it's an inside run. You're just going to run it straight through. And you'll see the blocking that you get on this play is absolutely phenomenal. It's very, very difficult to stop. And what people will have to do is they'll start pinching in. And again, it's still going to be very difficult. Okay, And I've, I've ran up against this run several times. It's been very hard for me to stop this run. This run is very good. Now, what you have off of this is you have a play action play. It has um, Terrence Williams is going to be going to the back of the end zone. So basically, it's just a high point in the back of the end zone. That's not going to work all the time, but it's something that you have in your arsenal if you need it. Um, another thing that you have, the, the interesting thing about this formation, it's actually very good to pass from. And y you can you can really do some things you know, in the back of the end zone if they start crowding everybody against the line. What people are going to do is this. They're going to go to goal line um, to stop this. So, to me, it's the only thing that they can really call that's going to give them a chance to stop this. The PA misdirection is also a good play, but basically what you want to do is you want to put your best catch in traffic guy on the right, and then you want to put, um, yep. So then if you come out in halfback wham, and the two plays you want to really focus in on here is PA misdirection and halfback wham. Those are the two plays that uh, are really worth their weight in gold. Well, here's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to go to goal line now. If you look at the goal line packages, you're going to see that a lot of it is um, man blitzes. You see that pretty much the majority of them are man-to-man -man, uh, pressures. And, you know, so that's what they're going to have to call. And normally they're not. They're going to call GL man. That's probably the, the most popular play. So you come in here like this, and they're going to call goal line. And they're, they're you know they're not going to stop you all the time. Again, if you need one yard, this play will work. This is going to work 90% of the time. This is going to work. As you can see, what they're going to then do is they're going to run commit down because it's a, it's just the best middle run that I've seen in the game. Um, they're going to run commit down middle and they're just going to try to really blow you up. Now, if they do that, they're going to win. And here's the uh, compliment to this. If you come out and you see goal line, here's what you need to do immediately is you need to audible to bench. OK, and what you know is going to happen is you need to max protect, max protect. And what you want to do is you want to put Cole Beasley on a in route, just a simple in route like this. And that's all you got to do. And what you're going to do is when Des Bryant cuts to the outside, you're going to, th I got a smart route. I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you that. You got a smart route, Des Bryant. Let's do that one more time. So here's what you're going to do. You see goal line, you see something like this. You're going to audible to bench. You're going to then max protect. You're going to smart route Des Bryant and you're going to put Cole Beasley on an in route. And then as soon as Dez cuts to the outside, you're going to throw a down and away pass lead, and he's going to beat his man. He's going to beat his man. Okay? Um, very, very simple, very, very easy. Uh, once, again, if you see this and you really want to try to fight for a yard, I would go ahead and run a play. But this is by far, um, it's very, very difficult for them to stop uh, what we're going to do from here. Now, here's, here's what's going to happen. If they're smart they'll put these guys in zones to flats, right? They'll put them in flat zones because they'll be confident that they can use it in the middle of the field. Well, not quite. So we're going to run, you know, we see that play. We're going to set up our, our bench play. Uh, we're going to max protect. So we have it looking like this. 
And then what's going to happen is, you know, they're going to get out there on Dez, but then you've got Cole Beasley for a possession catch. Okay, as soon as he gets out of the clutter, he's going to be able to get that possession catch. A lot of times, too, what you'll have, if you do it right, if you actually put Cole Beasley on a drag, then what will happen is they're going to put their guys in flats, right? What's going to happen is Cole Beasley is going to pull that flat zone. I didn't have enough timing. Not going to be able to get that one in. But but anyways, guys, again, I'm telling you, middle run, this is the best one in the game. The halfback wham, again, you know, not too complicated. The cool part about it is you can actually uh, flip it. So, you know, depending on where the user is, you can flip it because you know you're going to be running left A gap, right A gap, depending on where they go. But by far, this is the best inside zone, inside running play for the goal line that I have found. If you guys want more tips, I have a full goal line offense that I put in the premium membership this week that you could check out. Um, you know, I, I, I'm getting ready to send the update out to all of the members. And this week, what we decided to go focus in on is, is, is goal line offense and goal line defense. But anyways, guys, just want to encourage you to check that out. The link is in the description below. It's the best thing that you could do to improve your game by far. If you ask me, listen, everybody, this premium membership, I want this thing to sell hundred times over because I want you guys to get better. And I really believe that that, if that, if you invest in that premium membership, it is really going to help you real quick. You get six eBooks, you get two right off the bat and we got four on the way. You get a one hour video every week. That's going to give some type of update so far. We've updated our offense and our defense. We're getting ready to update our offense again. And we're going to um, update some things on our goal line packages this week. So just be on the lookout for those things. Those premium memberships are just so critical. Uh, I really believe that could take you